Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ARP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video of Acumatica 2023 R1 preview of new features, we're going to talk about blanket purchase orders. So in Acumatica, we have blanket purchase orders that give you the ability to generate an agreement with your vendor of the quantities that you're going to be buying from them and the timelines that you expect to purchase them in. But one of the challenges in previous versions in Acumatica is we couldn't tell how much was on a purchase order. We were missing information to be able to see that and it was difficult to manage. So what you're seeing here is Acumatica 2022 R2. And we have a blanket PO here and there's 500 items ordered of an Acer laptop and about 250 of a Dell desktop computer. And that's what we see here. Now, once you have the blanket PO in place, what you can do is you can create a purchase order. We'll do that here. You'll notice this is a purchase order screen also. The type is blanket. But if we go in and go back to our tab for purchase orders, we'll create a new one. And of course, it's a normal PO. We'll select the same vendor. And then over here under the menu items, you're not gonna add all the items individually. Instead, you add a blanket PO, or you can look up the specific lines of a specific blanket order number. You select the blanket order number. Now we can check off the ones that we want. It's two different ways to do it. One, if you have a lot of line items, you might use this option. We go back and we just add the blanket PO. It looks like this, showing for this vendor all of the different blanket POs that we have. We'll select this, click Save. And then you have the opportunity, this is the total quantity, but you have an opportunity to order what you need. So maybe I only need 150 of the laptop and 100 of the desktop. And this is great, I can remove the hold, approve it, send it out to the vendor, and we'll get these quantities. And when we go back to create another purchase order, we add the blanket PO again, we select this. What you get now is the different balance. What you get now instead is the remaining balance of that blanket PO. However, when we go back to the blanket PO itself, there's no way to tell. Certainly, if we were to get this PO underway and we were to finish all these quantities, this blanket PO Certainly, if we go back to the blanket PO and we look at it, as time goes on, this will become completed if we get to our quantities. And all of that is based on a preference as to how you complete it by quantity, for example. But again, it's very difficult to manage when you're looking at the blanket PO. If my job is to manage the blanket POs and work with vendors and establish these agreements and negotiate these types of agreements, I really need to know where we're at with all these blanket POs. So in Acumatica 2023 R1, it's different. So here we have a blanket PO. And it's the same items, 500 and 250 for the quantities, same vendor. But you'll notice we have these new columns here. So we'll remove the hold on this blanket PO. We'll go out just like before and we'll create a new purchase order. We'll fill in our vendor. And once again, we'll add the blanket PO. Again, this is a different platform. We're using 2023 R1 to show these new features. And we'll select our blanket PO, the one we're concerned about the one that we want to decrement and start using. We'll click Save here. 
And we'll go in again. We'll say 150 and 100. We'll take off the hold. We'll approve it because we have approvals on. And now we have an active PO that we can email out to the vendor or print it out. Now, if we go back to our blanket PO and we refresh, we now can see the quantity on orders that we have, 150 and 100. That's from the purchase order we just created. And we could see the balance of what's remaining on the blanket purchase order. Now, one thing that hasn't changed, if we go back to the purchase order and scroll over to the right, there's a column that shows you how to get back to your blanket PO. So again, the purchase order itself, we're in it right now, and we can get back to the PO number to see what's going on if we need to. But you now have much better visibility at the blanket PO as to where you're at with your quantities. So that's it. That's updates to blanket purchase orders, better visibility at your blanket PO level. There are a couple of changes on the rules for completion, meaning that when we hit our finished completion, blanket PO at zero, or the quantities on order plus the purchase receipts matches the original order quantity, the rules for completion have changed slightly. So be sure to check out the documentation in the help documentation, there's a reference to if you have your closed PO line set up to buy quantity versus some other option, then here's your rules accordingly. Having said that, I couldn't find the closed PO line, so I'm going to create a ticket with Acumatica on it because I couldn't find that option under the stock items or non-stock items profile. So I'll do additional research on that and give you guys an update in the comments section as I find out. But thanks so much for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. And if you have a question about this or anything else at Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.